Hey everyone, just a quick update. Uh, mostly on those laptops that I got the other day. I've got most of them working apart from two. One beyond repair because someone had ripped out the uh, hard drive, literally ripped it out and busted all the connectors up. So that was beyond repair aside from the new motherboard and being an old Windows XP laptop, I just didn't deem it worth it, so salvaged parts from it. Um, but both the newer Toshibas, the black ones, which I've actually got one here, these ones, um, are both working. This one's on Windows 7 with a 160 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive in it. I've only just realised I put a Toshiba hard drive in it. I honestly didn't realise, I was just sticking hard drives in them. Um, that's working fine. The other one I had one minor issue with, it was having an overheating issue. I installed Windows 10, as well as upgraded it to 6GB of DDR3 RAM, because I found out these laptops actually use DDR3. Um, <laughs> and it kept turning itself off, it would get so far through the install and it it would keep turning itself off and it was actually getting slower and slower as well so I figured there's an overheat problem it's one of those laptops I find not all laptops and computers have this feature but some do it they sense the temperature and if it gets to a certain point they turn off and I actually found out why when I got it to mum's because I want something to do at mum's so I took the laptop down there to rectify it so I was going to put new thermal paste on and get all that redone which it did need, but this is the um, cooling plate for the processor. The one on the other laptop, which is still down at Mum's, had these two screws missing. So it wasn't, you know, gripping down on the processor properly. Plus, just like this one, most of the screws that hold it together were missing as well. So I'm guessing someone was going to, the previous owner, was probably going to try and salvage the processor out of it and whatnot and gave up because they couldn't figure out where the other screws were. See, I've taken quite a few laptops apart now. I know exactly where they hide the screws on these older ones. Newer ones, like this one, not so much, but slightly older machines like this old Windows 7 Toshiba, they hide screws under the keyboard. You have to take the keyboard out. And you'll find at least three screws on a lot of laptops that um, secretly hold the damn thing together. <laughs> Trust me, when I was a rookie with laptops, I, I uh, found that the, out the hard way. Um, there is a Compaq here. That Compaq, I got working on Windows 7. It was very slow to install it. In fact, stupidly slow. And then I thought, as it accepted the 4 gigabytes of RAM, that Dell I've got, the Dell Inspire on which I got working as well, by the way, will not accept 4 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm guessing 2 is probably its max, maybe 3. Anyway, I threw it in the compact. It worked. I was going to upgrade it to Windows 10. It wouldn't format, and it kept freezing on install. So I tried to reinstall Windows 7. Nope. Wouldn't even format the hard drive. It actually turns out the hard drive, when I tried to reinstall it, decided to die. Which would actually explain why it was running insanely slow. A knackered hard drive, basically. So Western Digital Blue, 160 gigabyte. Yeah, I was just trying to find that. So, I will double check it, but I'm pretty certain that's knackered because it won't format, it won't do anything, so pretty certain that died. Um, oh, the other Toshiba I put Windows 10 on has got the 320 gigabyte Western Digital Drive from this one in it. And this one's now got a one terabyte hard drive in it that it originally had, because when I got this, my friend wanted the hard drive, which was a one terabyte. Um, but my brother had a spare one, and he gave it to me. And I was going to put it in the Toshiba, but I thought, I prefer that on my editing laptop. So that's what I did. So I've actually got to go through 
and just connect. I thought I did all this, but it's not connected to the interwebs. It's not a problem. I know my uh, thingy. That was connected now. So I've got to find Windows Live Essentials. There's probably better video editors out there, free ones, but that's the one I'm used to and I know how to use it, so... Um, I've got to install... I'll probably install VLC Media Player on this and AVG as well as this does go online. So yeah, this had an upgrade as well. One terabyte hard drive. Don't worry, I saved all the um, video files from the other hard drive before I uh, wiped it. I think that's it. Oh! Kitchen. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. Because there's one more, wasn't there? There was the um, HP Pavilion. Um, which I found had another issue. There's the Dell. <laughs> it's actually quite a nice machine now that I've got it properly working. Um, I'd stuck Windows 7 on it. Because I actually don't have a Windows Vista disk, so I couldn't, you know, restore it to Vista. Anyway, here's the HP. With a key component missing. Because <laughs> I had noticed, whilst trying to install, you know, and I'm pressing the Enter key to boot from disk and nothing was working. So I figured, keyboard's knackered, doesn't work. So I plugged in a USB keyboard. That didn't want to work either. So I actually had to remove the keyboard... To let the USB keyboard work, it wouldn't do anything with the USB, um, with the original keyboard still intact or connected, I should say. So I need a new one. Can you tell I've got a bit? Um... <laughs> Actually, looking at it, I... ah, I don't know if you can see if that's going to show up on camera, but I can see staining on this side of the keyboard and not this side. Oh, there's a little bit. Something got spilt on this and that killed the keyboard. But uh, stuck Windows 7 on this as well. Uh, I'll see if I can find a cheap keyboard to chuck in this. I also need some hard drive caddies for those two black Toshibas. Um, even though I've got a big bunch of them in here. Various hard drive caddies, same and bunchy, I've got loads of them. None of them are for a Toshiba. <laughs> Which is a bit of a problem. In fact, let me just move that processor out of the damn way before I break it. That looks like a pin's already got bent. Yeah. So I've got all these hard drive caddies. Not a Toshiba in here. Uh, to assembled in Mexico. It's not what I want to know. I want to know what it's for. Well, anyway, I know that's not going to work on that Toshiba, so I need something similar to this. Anyway, hard drive caddies, if you can find them, are usually not that expensive anyway. I say if you can find them, because... Uh, what most people do when they get rid of a laptop like that, they just take the hard drive and the caddy out and then discard of the laptop. And they've even done that on um, some desktop computers I've had, like the Dells. I'll take the little green runners out as well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I need two of those. <clears throat> so, yeah, been busy in that respect. I've had fun. Just got to get a few replacement parts. Oops. I don't know why I'm sweating so much. I only cycled back from Lidl. Right, I suppose... Yeah, my battery's flashing at me, so... I think that's I suppose I should end the video, because that is it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll talk to you all again soon. Bye!